Carlisle, two divisions higher and unbeaten in 15 matches, were never allowed the luxury of possession football, as Swindon assaulted their goal like stormtroopers. Dave Hockaday set up the first with a fine run down the right wing, an even better centre which found the head of Jimmy Quinn, his tenth goal of the season. Well, the score was unchanged at half-time, with Swindon well in control and Carlisle still unable to penetrate Swindon's defence. In the 72nd minute, Swindon went two ahead. It followed a build-up on the right again. Paul Batty turned well to see his shot scoop between the legs of two defenders and off the unsighted goalkeeper. So it was no wonder the 8,000 fans, the largest gate at the county ground this season, were ecstatic. But the home crowd's delight was short-lived when Alan Shoulder was adjudged to have been hauled down by Charlie Henry. And the referee immediately points to the penalty spot. And it was Shoulder who sent Scott Endersby the wrong way to make it 2-1. Well, three minutes later, Swindon put the game beyond doubt following a scything tackle on the edge of the box. And despite every Carlisle player back in the penalty area, it was Emmanuel's free kick which found Andy Rowland to hit a perfect left foot shot. Well, desperation resulted in Carlisle throwing ten men forward, putting the Swindon goal under pressure. But young goalkeeper Endersby rose to the occasion, pulling off a whole series of fine saves. As the clock ticked around to the final whistle, Swindle and their fans started to look forward to a home fourth round match against Blackburn Rovers on January the 28th.